Hello and good afternoon. This is Anthony over at Conquer Outdoors and this week we have decided to do a segment on our crossbow string wax. So for this particular video segment we will be focusing on Barnett products. So I will be showing you a demonstration on how to apply the crossbow string wax on a Barnett product using the Barnett wax. So again it is recommended that you use the wax accordingly to the brand. So for example, this wax came with this crossbow and it is advised that you use the brand that is of the same brand of the crossbow. And if you have any other questions about that, you can go ahead and reach your manufacturer as far as details regarding that. So there tends to be some debate as far as how often you should wax your crossbow strings. And I'd say that kind of comes down to what kind of hunter you are in the end. If you are hunting typically every week, you are probably going to want to wax your crossbow string a little more often than someone who hunts maybe twice a year. And a good way to tell whether or not your strings need to be waxed is simply by giving them the touch test. So if they feel a little dry, like these are here on mine, you could go ahead and apply some wax to it to give it a little more tackiness on it. So let's go ahead and apply some of this crossbow wax on there. Let's go ahead and grab our, uh, our wax container here. As you can see, it comes in somewhat of a chapstick container, which makes it easy to apply this way and it keeps things nice and clean. So let's go ahead and push this wax out a little bit and simply go ahead and rub it gently over the crossbow strings, giving it a little layer of wax on there. Remember, you don't want to put too much and you want to put wax on all of the strings and cables here just to get them nice and lubricated for your hunt. So you might have to squeeze a little more out, put a little bit more on there. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just apply it generously through the whole string of the crossbow on both sides and then we're going to go ahead and rub it in with our fingers. Okay, so after applying the wax on there, we can go ahead and rub it in with our fingers and this will actually activate the wax here by heating it up simply with the heat of our body temperature here. So go ahead and to rub this wax in nice and gently so it's nice and slick here. So again, we'll do this to every piece that we put the wax on. So we'll go ahead and do the same to this side as well. So you may have seen that I avoided the serving area of the crossbow string, which is here in the center. And you generally want to do that with these kind of crossbows so that the wax doesn't get lodged here in the trigger mechanism. And that'll throw off your whole hunting game once you start doing that. So it's recommended that you don't wax the serving area unless it is advised by your manufacturer. So of course there are certain crossbows that have different kinds of trigger mechanisms which will allow you to wax the serving in there. But I advise you to be careful when doing that and maybe look up some more detail and information for that according to your crossbow. So again, you generally want to wax your crossbow string maybe every 10 to uh, 20 shots depending on how often you hunt. Of course, if you're an avid hunter, you're going to wax it a little more often than that because you're shooting a little more. But if you're an occasional hunter, maybe twice a year, you're just going to want to base the lubrication of the strings on the simple touch test. So if it's nice and tacky, you are good to use the crossbow. If not, then go ahead and apply some wax on it. And just like that, we are ready to go hunt. So thanks for watching and uh, happy hunting. <laughs>